Everyone remembers the inaugural champion. From the champion of champions, to the tag team champions. From the OC champion, to the pancake champion. The inaugural champion always has their name forever etched in history. Today. 28 OCs, 14 teams have the same opportunity to be the first to be forever etched in history to be the inaugural Dongon Rampa Hunger Games OC Tag Team Champions Amped Up The Chaotic Croissant Duo Set the Stage Blood Red Roses Tragic Tale Helping Hand Mind Games Manga Section Trick or Treat Fortune of the Gods Elite Idolist Rap God Broken Arrow Dazzling Stars Who will be forever etched in history. Good day, good people. It's another fine day in the year of the Zenith, Toon Link, Dave, Anomaly, the Anomalicars. Plant that I don't have a name for yet, but probably have a name at this point in time when you're watching this, but not when I'm recording. Hey, I'm the United States Savior. Welcome to a first, the first OC Tag Team championship match 14 teams one goal to be forever etched in history and it's interesting I, I, I'm saying this now but I think you might have already heard me say this because as I'm saying it I'm like ooh that's uh that's real nice for an intro <laughs> ooh, that's real nice for an intro uh, um hmm that's gonna be a part of the intro, I already know it. I need to write that down at the end of this. Hey, it's time for championship action. Don Gon Rampa Hunger Games. OC tag team titles are on the line. My voice <laughs> is the victim of pollen. So hopefully it doesn't break getting through this. We have 14 teams, we have. Screw pollen, by the way. I'm gonna go on a quick tirade about Pollen. It is all over the place. All over the place. Everywhere. And it's terrible. And I <laughs> hate, hate, hate. <clears throat> However, hopefully, it's, hopefully either Pollen doesn't affect you or there's no Pollen around you. That's what I hope. I hope for the best. Because I hate it. <laughs> and I don't hate a lot of- I don't like- I, I don't hate a lot of things, Pollen. I don't think I hate pollen either, because pollen does do good things for plants and flowers, and I love flowers, but like, you know, less of it would be great. Let's introduce all the teams. You've already seen them, but one more time, Amped Up, Romaz, and Lee. The Chaotic Croissant Duo, Fifi, and Oliver. Set the stage, Kanaki, Ashi. Blood Red Roses, Rosaka, Yu. Tragic Tale, Skyland, JFJ. Helping Hand, Melody, Midori. Mind Games, Akira, Kiyoshi. Manga Section, Rai, Hana. Trick or Treat, Junpei, Katsumi, Fortune of the Gods, Kyoto, Zonokai, and Shiori, Elite Idolist, Osamu, Miji, Rap God, Charmy, Sagi, Broken Arrow, Barth, and Amber, Dazzling Stars, Daiki, and Riko. And... Are you ready to find out which of these teams will be the first ever Don Rampa Hunger Games 
OC Tag Team Champions. I'm excited. We have an incredible field here, and I would be thoroughly hyped to see any of them take those titles. Live chat, who do you got for first, second, and third? You know, I gotta ask you, don't feel like you're jinxing them. It's not a jinx, it's RNG. And RNG is a cruel mistress. Absolutely. 100%. However, as you make those picks in the live chat and in the comments, and while you're doing that, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't, because that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty dope. But you know what else is pretty dope? Me jinxing. I mean, me picking some folks, and I got. So here's what I've been thinking. I got Mind Game, and I got Amped Up. I got Amped Up for first, and I got Mind Game, Mind Games for second. I think... The final two are going to be Lee and Akira, and it's going to be a battle of the powerhouses. One of them's going to come out on top. In fact, give me manga section for third two. Throw Rai in that top three. I think those three dominant forces are going to be the ones in the final three. They're going to be the ones who know to carry on for their or know how to carry on for their teams, and they're going to be the ones to have a final showdown. And one of them's going to come out with those titles. I don't know who it's going to be though. It could be any other team as well. But that's just how I feel the momentum is carrying this season. I don't think we have to wait too much longer, though. I know you guys have made your picks. I know you made them. It's been delightful to see you make those picks right there in the live chat. I, I don't see them. I don't. <laughs> I'm excited for it, though. Ladies and gentlemen, who will win? Who will be champions? I think it might be time to find out. Are you ready? Are you? Are you, are you set? Toon Link, Dave? Anomaly? The following matchup is for the inaugural OC Tag Team Championship. And it begins right now. You ready? Do you feel it? Do you feel the intensity? 14 teams. One goal, and that goal is to be champion. To forever have their names etched in history. And we start round one, and we see a lot of orange. Not a lot of, oh, actually only one person perishing. And it is very sad. But we do have to do one thing. For the first time in OC Tag Team action. Ladies, gentlemen, can we please sound the horns? Most excellent. Let's do it. Let's name ourselves some OC Tag Team Champs. Katsumi falls flat on her face. Shiori draws a demon summoning circle on the ground, you know, for fun. Kyoto is on Okai. Walks into a very strange machine, his molecules got all rearranged, has ghost powers Hana. Twiddles her thumbs, not for much longer though. Riko challenges Charmy to a duel. Riko actually bites the dust. Daiki remembers how much he misses Riko, sobs quietly. Yui. It doesn't finally snap, has immediately snapped. Don't say finally, game. This was round one. <laughs> this was round one. Is frenzied. Also remember the top six teams. Go on to fight for the tag team titles in the season 11 premiere. And that is for the first time. For the very first time. The titles will be defended. This is just for who will claim them for the first time. Barth. Total assistance. Ashi does, a, uh, does something really cute. Romas attempts to kill Rai, but Hana intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Hana dies in the attempt. Hana knows that Rai knows how to carry. Will Rai carry today? JFJ ambushes Michi. Oliver woke up and chose violence, took out a whole team. Junpei and Katsumi are out of this one as Oliver slaughters them both. Oliver's getting ready for that World Pancake Championship match. Midori finds a great, it better be careful with that. Kiyoshi trips and falls in a really bad way, breaking his neck. Lee wonders about the future. Something inside of Rai drives her to fight for what she believes in. She's now feeling heroic. Fifi stares into the distance. Melody draws a demon summoning circle on the ground. You know, for fun. Rosaka's determined to survive this. Amber looks around for stuff to scrounge. Akira attempts to kill Skyland, but JFJ, the ultimate, the ultimate Hunger Games mentor, protects his mentoree dies in the attempt. Is this JFJ providing the final push that Skyland needs to win this match? I don't know. That's what it feels like. Osamu fails to grasp the gravity situation. Kanaki wishes he could just go home. Sagi keeps trying to tell the joke, but it always falls flat. And Skyland twitches uncontrollably. We lost a quarter of the competition. Just like that. And just like this, 
It's actually the saddest of all moments for Rika, Hana, Michi, Junpei, Katsumi, Kiyoshi, JFJ. And do remember, we could have some people go ahead and enter this, uh, hmm, what I like to call the uh, World Pancake Championship match. It's the final opportunity for these OCs and another opportunity, I guess, for the singles OCs. But after that, we have our World Pancake Championship match set. However, I, I do believe it's time to actually just proceed, right? We gotta keep on keeping on. We can't just stop right here. I mean, we could. How y'all doing? Let's stop right. No, we're going. <laughs> but how are y'all doing? That is something I do want to know. Next round, we see... Round to beginning with... Orange. Rosaka kills Shiori in front of Kyoto Zonokai. Kyoto no Zonokai rushes to hell, but it's already too late. And now doesn't want to carry on at all. Romas stares into the distance. Lee thinks about what she did to end up here. Oliver doesn't really want to, but finds himself having to get rid of Melody as well. Jeez Louise, Oliver. Jeez Louise. Fifi has a horrible feeling in her gut. Maybe it's because your partner keeps choosing violence. JFJ is gone. Charmy has got tactical combat gear, provides optimal protection for the whole body. Akira's had enough and is now enraged. Ashi tries to kill Charmy with combat gear to the blow. Sagi finds a dapper suit, puts on it's quite fetching. Kanaki wants this to be over already. Yui looks around, maniacally seething. Skyland finds some leather scraps just enough to patch together some rudimentary clothing. Amber picks up this neat and in various places. Rai patrols diligently, ready to defend those that she loves, even though her partner's gone. Osamu remembers how much he misses Michi and sobs quietly. Daiki just wants it to end already. Barth stares into the distance, and Midori juggles a grenade for a bit, kind of wanting to use it. We lost another two. But just two this time. Shiori, Melody, you get one of the saddest of all moments for. Shiori. Melody. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. Neither of their teams are completely out, but Shiori is in a tough predicament because her partner is not feeling this game anymore after losing her. Will she snap out of it? I'm not certain, but I can say with certainty, it's uh, time to proceed. Are you ready? I hope you are. Let's click next round and we will find... Ooh, ooh, there's some orange down there. Romas has a horrible feeling in his gut. Ashi finds Avi's boxing gloves, my gloves? Our hands are now ready to eat for everyone. Midori juggles with a grenade for a bit, kinda wanting to use it. Charmy does something really cute. Kyoto, uh, Zonokai snaps out of it, does snap out of it, good on you! Skyland, wearing leather scraps is decided to behold Rai. Scans the arena for enemies lurking about. Kanaki ambushes Yui, eviscerates them. Sagi and Charmy ambush Skyland, slaughtering him. There's so much, so much orange, goodness gracious! Oliver tries to go Lee, but Lee retaliates, kills him instead. Amber spots something shiny in the distance. Lee thinks about what she did to end up here. Akira is so mad, steam literally coming out of his ears, causes the fire trapping, killing Amber and Daiki in the flames. Osamu fails to grasp the gravity situation. Barth is ready for target practice, but doesn't get to do so because Barth then challenges Fifi to a duel, but Barth bites the dust. Goodness gracious, the shotgun did not help at all. Rosaka is tired of all these animals causing havoc in the arena, eating all the plants. Rosaka picks up a net and a hat and joins Avi's animal control. We are now down to just 13. We lost a lot of heavy hitters today as well. Thus, it's really the saddest of all moments. Four. Yui. Skyland. Oliver. Amber. Daiki. Barth. And outside of revivals, we will go ahead and uh, we'll look at the details real quick. Dazzling stars are out of this one, and so is Broken Arrow, unless there are revivals. Helping Hand still has Midori. Chaotic Croissant Duo still has Fifi. Amped Up's completely in. Fortune of the Gods has Kyoto, Zonokai. Mind Games still have Akira. Blood Red Roses still have Rosaka. Trick or Treat is out of this one. Elite Eyeless have Osamu. Rap Gods completely in. Charmy and Sagi. Manga Section still has Rae. And then set the stage is completely in, so good for them. However, what's not so- and... Ashi has those gloves. Is someone about to catch those hands? I don't know. But it's three more until you're saving grace picks. And twelve more until- or twelve or eleven more until we have ourselves tag team champions, shall we? I know you're all curious. So let's go ahead. Let's click next round and we will see. We only need three more until you're saving grace picks. We will get those three more. We will most definitely get those three more. Goodness gracious. Good, good, goodness gracious. We're uh, we're getting those three more ASAP, apparently. 
hey, Lee twiddles her thumbs. Rai is surrounded by villains and manages to turn the tables and defeat them all. Fifi, Osamu, and Charmy only left a couple of scratches. Goodness gracious. Akira is so mad, steam's coming out of his ears still. The heat caused the fire, trapping and killing Kyoto, Zonokai, and Ashi in the flames. Does all of that bring us down to our top six teams? It brings us close. Kanaki, wish that he could go home. Romaz challenges Sagi to a duel. Romaz bites the dust. Rosaka sets down a trap. Midori gets caught in one of Rosaka's traps. Now all she can do is hope to be freed. And that brings us down to our final seven. Which I think might be our final six teams. I think there might be one team completely in. Maybe not though. Maybe not anymore. Yeah, maybe not anymore. In that case, it's just a saddest of all moments for Fifi, Osama, Charmy, Kyoto, Zonokai, Ashi, Romaz. We'll have to check everybody's statuses, but three quarters of the competition are gone and only seven people remain. No full teams, I don't think. Yeah, all of our no more full teams. Which means the next person to perish will, unfortunately, just have their team miss out on joining guaranteed at a shot at another championship opportunity. The Season 11 Tag Team OC Premiere. But that's the future for the right now. Y'all need to make some new picks, and y'all know what type of, you know what type of picks they are. You're not new here, unless you are, in which case, hi, it's actually the picks that we like to call our... Saving Grace Picks. It is your final seven, and they consist of Lee. Lee, the one and only the one who came through and won the very first OC tag team match. Will Lee be the first one to win the OC Tag Team Championships for Romaz? It could happen. We still have Blood Red Roses, Rosaka. Wait a minute. We have all three of my picks! What? <laughs> That's crazy! Uh, we'll keep going. Rosaka from Blood Red Roses, Midori from Helping Hand, Mind Game still has Akira, and Sagi remains for Rap God, Manga Section still has Rai, and Set the Stage still has Kanaki. All three of my picks are still in. My picks were Lee, Akira, and Rai, and boy, are they still in. This is crazy. <laughs> could, my, could my prediction have been completely correct? I don't know. But I will say with certainty, make your saving grace picks right here, right now. I'm keeping mine exactly the same. My top three are still Lee, Akira, and Rai. Give me Lee for first, Akira for second, and Rai for third. That's still what I'm going with. Then I refuse to change it. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think I don't think I've ever had a bigger brain blast than right there. It was like the uh, the thing where all the numbers are like coming at you, like they're all still. <laughs> I don't have moments like that too often, you guys. Usually I jinx all of my picks. <laughs> Hey, you made your picks in the live chat. You made them in the comments. We're, I, it's, I'm just having a good moment right now. It feels good to not be the ultimate jinx unless they all perish in one event next time. However, it is your final seven. Outside of any revivals, one of these teams will come out on top. Lee. Rosaka. Midori, Akira, Sagi, Rai, Kanaki. It's time. Seven teams, seven competitors, one shot to be forever etched in history. They stand proudly with the same pulse as that of. A samurai woman. One team to rule them all. Are you ready? I hope you are. Seven remain, one will come out on top. But the next person who's out will be out for their team. And next round we see Kanaki has a dimensional scythe. Those were they were supposed to be collected at the end of season four. Oh no. Sagi washes off the blood of his dad pursuit. Lee remembers Romas. Remembers Romas rather and stops quietly. Lee waves at Akira. Akira 
chases her while shaking his fist. Midori is trapped. There's nothing she can do. I forgot Midori's trapped in this one. Oh my gosh, Rosaka's on the hunt for animals that need to be controlled. We'll go to the next round and we will see. Sagi thinks about what he did to end up here. The Archon see great potential and Kanaki grants him an animal vision. Lee attacks Rosaka from behind, kills her. Rosaka's out of this one. Akira grumbles angrily. Midori is trapped and still can't do anything. And now we are down to our final six. It is five people, one with a dimensional scythe, one that's trapped. <clears throat> five people and one trapped person, rather. We get to hear Samurai Omen again, which is a rarity. So you know what? First and foremost, it's a terrible turnabout for. Rosaka. And that leaves us with Sagi from Rap Guy. Kanaki from Set the Stage, Lee from Amped Up, Akira from Mind Games, Midori from Helping Hand. Uh, yeah, you die, you Sagi, Sagi, Kanaki, Lee, Akira, Midori. Who's who's not? Oh, who's not here? One, two, three, four, five. Who's hiding out? Is someone hiding out here? Who's 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 creeping? Someone's out here creeping, right? Sagi's there. Midori's there. Oh, someone's heroic, aren't they? Someone's feeling a little heroic, aren't they? Rai's feeling a little heroic. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well that's our final six. Don't count Rai out, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it's still Samurai Woman! The final six, Rai is just looking for, for enemies lurking about. Will she find them? Or will she find despair? Or lose her burst of heroism. I'm not sure. We'll click next round. We'll see. We see a lot of people get got. We see a lot of people get got is what we see. Midori was struggling the trap. Cut herself pretty badly. She's bleeding out. The Archon see great potential in Akira. Grant him an... Oh, all three of my picks are gone. Oh, there's that jinx we all know and love. <laughs> got a geo vision. Akira wants to think one for all for Lee. Akira bites the dust. Jeez Louis. Sagi's proud of his nap pursuit and Kanaki creates a spear of a spear of air around Rai and Lee. Keeps there long enough to suffocate them both and we are down to three after my three picks pair. So look, it's really a terrible turnabout for me. But actually for them. Akira. Rai. Lee. And so between Rap God set the stage and helping hand, and Midori really needs a helping hand because she's bleeding out in a trap right now. Will she get one? I don't, I don't really think so. I think she, she might be out for the count for this one, but who knows? You're not out until it's over, and we've had someone bleeding out before take a victory. Can someone who's bleeding out win a championship? That much I don't know, but it is your final three, Midori, Sagi, and Kanaki. All still standing tough, standing tall, with the same no it's a it's what we call a golden within our final five it's what we call a golden crisis of fate set a stage rap god helping hand next round we see goodness gracious it's the final two round eight begins with soggy creeping up on kanaki but as he runs after him. He creates a gust of air, a Kanaki does, beneath him and escapes. And he looks up, Sagi, as he's running backwards, but where he doesn't see is where he's running. He wasn't looking, he was staring at Kanaki doing that incredible move and falls right off of a cliff. Midori's still trapped and is slowly bleeding out, which means we are down to just our final two. And after this, terrible turnabout four. Sagi. It is set the stage. It is helping hand. Both of them, unless like six people get revived from other teams, they will both get another opportunity to fight for these titles. Um, I guess they both could die as well. And then I would just restart the match. I don't know what's gonna happen and I'm not gonna jinx anything to happen. I will ask you though, just who? Will it be? Midori? Kanaki. Kanaki has been tormented by being called the wrong name for so long. Kaniko, 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 no, no, no. 
this is Kanaki, and Kanaki is going to make sure you remember his name by etching his name in history as the inaugural tag team champion along with Ashi. However, something stands in his way, or is kind of not standing in his way, but crouched down and bleeding out in his way, Midori. The environment could take Sagi out and Midori is just trapped and bleeding out. If Midori bleeds out, is just does not bleed out and Kanaki perishes, Midori takes this win. It's a possibility, it could happen, but will it happen? I'm uncertain. Kanaki, Midori, set the stage or helping hand. Who will come out on top? I don't know. But it looks like it's probably Kanaki, but you do not count anything out in Ordeal. <sighs> Live chat, I know you all are making your picks already between Set the Stage, Kanaki, and a helping hands Midori. And you're ready to see who will be inaugural tag team champions. Let's click next round. Let's find out. It will be... Still caught in the trap. Still caught in the trap was Midori. What she truly needed was a helping hand. But there was no one there to help her. She was caught in the trap, and Kanaki uses a gust of wind to blast Midori and the trap right off of a cliff. There's nothing she could do to retaliate. Instead, she perishes. Which means... It's time to name ourselves our first champions. It's time! After this terrible turnabout, four. Midori. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Forever etched in history. Your winners. On the grandest stage of them all. They made their mark. Not just on the stage. On history. History remembers Kokichi as the first champion of champions. History remembers Kaede, Komaru, and Sarah, the Steel Minded Girls, as the first tag team champions. History remembers Shota, Thunder as the first ever OC champion, and now history will remember forever. Ashi, Kanaki, your winners and first ever OC Tag Team Champions set the stage. You will never forget the name Kanaki ever again. You will never confuse the name Kanaki ever again because now you can say, although I guess Kaneko also held the OC championship, but that was, that's, that's different. Kanaki is the first ever OC tag team champion. Kaneko held the OC title, that's fine. But Kanaki, Ashi, they set the stage on the grandest stage of them all in an inaugural title match. And now they stand proudly with the OC Tag Team titles. Congratulations to Kanaki and congratulations to Ashi. They came, they saw, they conquered. They performed last time, Kanaki just missed out, had Pokeballs, but this time around, Kanaki comes out on top as the victor with Ashi at his side. Set the stage wins. And they set the stage for their title run. They set the stage for season 11. Pretty awesome, right? Congratulations once again to them. Whew! Good match, <laughs> good match, and it's warm. So I'm, I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to blast through the end of this. <laughs> Once again, congrats. 
Akira had five KOs. I thought it, it seemed like for a second my prophecy was about to be fulfilled between Akira, Lee, and Rai, but instead, Kanaki had other plans. I'm pretty sure they kind of, between Akira, Lee, and Rai, they kind of took each other out as well, but Kanaki had four KOs, and more importantly, Kanaki and Ashi have the titles. They set the stage on the grandest stage of them all. Forever hatched hetched forever etched in history set the stage wins the titles Whew. oliver had three ko's so does lee and rai everyone else with two or less congratulations to all of the teams who participated and especially the top six teams who will go on to the the uh the the, the thing the, the season 11 premiere who are <clears throat> clearly set the stage we can figure this out real quick right now. Hold on, give me my pin. We had, uh, who do we have right there? Right there. We had Set the Stage. Yeah, they did. Yeah, good job, good job. They're the champions, the champs. Helping Hand. Clearly has a little vendetta. I'm sure Midori's furious. She was in a trap for so long. In fact, she never got out. In fact... I don't know if death overtakes traps, so she still might be trapped. Where is she? Yeah, she's still trapped. She's still trapped out here. That's sad. That's really sad. But she does have another shot with Melody at the tag team titles. Um, We have Rap God making it. And we have My Trio. <laughs> My Trio all get another chance. I'm talking mind games. I'm talking... Uh, Lee for Amped Up. And I'm talking Rae from Manga Section. And those are your top six teams. Those are the teams that were in your top six. Congratulations to them. <clears throat> and to all the other teams, don't worry. Because there's not a ton of OC teams. I almost dropped my whole soundboard. <laughs> Because there's not a ton of OC teams, every team that is not already in the premiere will be going on to the Agent of Chaos match. It will be one big match. That and it makes sense because that's how we also do the um the tag teams. I was like, oh we should probably do that. One last match, all the OCs, or all the OC teams rather, who aren't already there. For one last shot. Because a lot of these teams might not be back this next season. Who knows? But I'd like to see some of these teams back, because these were a lot of fun teams. I made most of the teams. <laughs> you guys submitted the OCs and I made the teams, but like, you know. I liked it. I liked it. I'll have to include like another option to, hey, if you want to stick with your partner, check here. Or if you want a new partner, check here. And both teammates would be like, yeah, same partner. I'll remember that. Or I'll forget. Who knows? Stay classy, year of the zenith. And once again, major congratulations to... Set the stage, Kanaki, Ashi, OC, Tag Team Champions. And tomorrow, we find out if Glitch can retain his OC singles title, or will someone else step up and claim the victory for themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, United States Avery taking off. Toodaloo, like crew. Thanks for watching.